then. Here we are. The second Five, game four, of the cup. Three, We've got Mirio versus two, Dodger. Dodger four, has taken the first three. map on Blood Run. This is the best of five. I'm going to start off on Mirio again. This is Tanuki's map. Who's in that... Uh, in that chat saying it's the worst map in the pool. We're on to Graphite. It's a map I haven't seen these two play before. Against each other. Dodger likes it. Speaks highly of this map. And the way it plays. Which probably says something about the style of play that it's going to happen. It's going to sort of enforce that style and it is a it is a certain style of play with the teleporters it makes it a very small map but you've got to learn it and you've got to play it the way it wants to be played by using the teleporters by using the shortcuts around the map and by spamming through a lot but yeah that was uh tanuki saying it's the worst map the map maker. Dodger's gone one up though. But again, we're starting off very slow. Starting off with extremely slow play because Dodger's managing to pull this one by walking around that corner. You don't see walking very often in Xenotic. That's the level of play we're at right now. And this, but then you just see incredible speed. It's something you really don't get in any other genre of game. Incredibly slow to incredibly fast movement speed. You get sort of in CS with nothing, 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 nothing. Everything happens in 10 seconds with the headshots. But in Xenotic, one minute he's walking around the corner. Then he makes a kill. Then he's moving at a thousand meters a second across the map. Nice bit of spam from Dodger. He's not managing to pull ahead so far. Mirio is managing to keep some control on this map. And by keeping that control, he's able to do something. He needed to get that hit there, though. If he can make this kill, He's not wanting to push through. He goes through. Dodger goes through behind. Doesn't go for the shot. Doesn't know if Mirio has picked up the armor yet. The armor is now up. And there it's taken. Mirio's got it. So there's trading items. Neither player managing to get both the items at the same time so far, I don't think. Both players right now taking the items. Mirio is so low. So barely any health left. Dodger just doesn't quite know how low he is. Dodger must think he's got to be so low. Mirio somehow just surviving each and every time with just a tiny amount. Misa is using every inch of the map. Dodger's managed to stack up on smaller armors though. Whereas Mirio's managed to get around... And pick up that mega uh, mega hundred armor. Three to nothing your score line, so it's not undoable, but it's definitely with the way Dodger's just playing and control, he's really changed his playstyle from the last map. You can see he's playing much more in control. It just shows you the depth of play that actually Dodger has. He can, he can win by just absolutely dominating in raw aim and speed and just being so fast he's unhittable. But at the same time, he's able to win by controlling the map, by playing the items and by sitting very comfortably on quite a small lead. And I think he's probably happy with that lead, knowing how slow Mirio was picking up the frags before, how Mirio wasn't pushing so deeply into him on Blood Run. He's thinking just a little bit. Now 
he's just collecting these items, scrolling around the map. We're not having any fights right now. Dodger seems to be just playing really, really calm and collected. And Mirio is playing the same way. He knows he's still got the time, you see. Up to five minutes. You've still got full five minutes to make it back in. Mirio. Mirio should have been able to hear that item be taken. You can hear across the whole map. And they'll have come through this room. The map is extremely small because it feels quite a lot wider. But it's certainly quite small when you pop straight through the middle of it. And there's some machine gun use. For those of you talking about machine gun use earlier, there's some good machine gun use from Dodger. Using it as a finishing weapon. Up close and personal. Not going to be doing any self damage. Now Dodger looks to be making some more frags. He's still falling back. He's still not making it absolutely right out in front. He's gone for that 25. Mirio's pushed him to quite low health here. But Mario was right up against it with health himself. And Dodger wants to take some more frags. Wants to secure this lead so far. But not doing it at the expense of being shot. Back and forth through this teleporter. Just taking one more pot shot at Mirio. And Mirio falls into his hands. But there we go. Mirio has an item. They're back to trading the items. Mirio hasn't managed to play. Enough in the lead. To be able to get any kills though. Just unable to do the damage output. Let's have a look at the damage output. So Mirio has dealt 1.4k to Dodger's 2.1k. So they're really quite close in uh, in terms of damage outside of these kills. If you take those kills, each is 100 damage. Whereas sometimes you'll see very close games. And there we are. Mirio going to forfeit on that one. And we're moving over to Hub, which has got to be Dodger's pick. 